Hi everyone, Jen here, and today we're going to be working on my Sims 2 terrain for my Let's Play that I'm planning on doing. Um, so we're in SimCity 4 right now, which you can um, get on Steam and Origin, and uh, you can make custom terrains, and then with those terrains you can import them into your Sims 2 game, which is pretty awesome. And um, so yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. That's what we are doing right now. Uh, I'm going to link in the description below uh, to the tutorial that I found incredibly helpful when I was first trying to figure out how to do this. Um, it's by the Jessa channel. And Jessa is super awesome with her Sims 2 videos and stuff. I don't believe she does them anymore, unfortunately. But when she did do them, they were pretty awesome. Um, so yeah, uh, we're going to be doing a Sims 2 Let's Play, which is one of the main reasons I set up the channel in the first place. I really wanted to do that. really wanted to, you know, have some fun with that. Uh, but then, you know, life got in the way and didn't have as much time as I was hoping for. Uh, but now we do. And so we can finally get down to business with it which is pretty awesome, I think. Um, so, for those of you who don't know, I'm a huge, huge, ridiculous fan of The Sims 2. Like, I've literally been playing since it came out. Like, even Sims 1, I've been playing since it came out. Um, I have no idea what I'm doing right now. I'm just trying to make some interesting things to see what happens. Uh, not what I wanted. Alright, we're going to start that over again. See? See? There's no undo button. So all you can do is just mess around until you get something you like. Um, so I'm a huge Sims 2 fan. My favorite things to do are creating terrains as you can see, and um, building stuff, like I love building like houses and stuff, or as I like to call them fancy boxes, because that is essentially all they end up being, is fancy, fancy, fancy boxes, which is fine by me, I don't mind. Um, so we're going to be doing like a BACC, uh, which is a build a city challenge, except it's going to be a bit more lax on the rules. Uh, in the description, I'm going to link some stuff for you guys. It's, um, so there's a lot of various rule sets that you can follow. There's some that are really strict. There's some that are like apocalypse challenge. There's some that focus on certain aspects of the game. But essentially, uh, the way it works is you have, um, ooh, didn't, didn't mean to do that. Shoot. Um. you have so many, like, there's, um, sorry, there's rules, basically, so, like, you can't use, uh, the careers that come with the game, you can only have your own businesses, so you need open for business. Um, there are ones where you have to, um, like, the main thing is, like, uh, you have to do certain things in order to unlock aspects of the game. So if you want townies, you have to have so many home businesses or so many like city businesses. And then if you want um, something else, like, I quite like this, this is looking pretty good. All right, um, if you want like, why do you want hills on here now? So if we could just, bits. That'd be good. Yeah, there we go. Um, like if you want police stations, so you can have burglar alarms, you have to have someone unlock the police career, and then you can only have burg 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 burglar alarms. Wow, good lord. Um, if someone owns the police station, so stuff like that. Uh, so the rules will be linked in the description below and you can check them out. It's a really fun way to play. Um, 
it's not my favorite way to play just because there are a lot of restrictions and stuff which um, it does depend on like what you like to do and how you like to play. Uh, I personally like I like I like the idea of creating the city from scratch which is what we're gonna do basically um, but I don't like having certain things that I'm not able to do because of other stuff that I haven't done yet because um, I'm not a huge fan of business lots like they're all right but I don't like getting them up to like level 10 and stuff I, it's just, it, like it's too much micromanaging for me which I guess seems a bit strange but there you have it um I will there will be business lots and stuff but it's going to be more of a relaxed sort of playthrough it's going to be more like um it's going to be more relaxed basically I it, generally you play week by week I'm probably going to play on maybe two to three days per household depending or if there's something I want a house to do we'll be doing that so a beach lot over here if I can get one I don't know if I can get one in here we'll see it would be nice if we could we'll, either way we'll, we'll we'll pretend it's a beach um that should be alright for a beach lot. I don't know I want all of that to be a beach lot. I just want it to be a bit softer. Um, I don't want you to come down a bit. Just a bit. Not much. Just a smidge. Uh, so we're going to play by a couple of sims a days per household rather than, um, you know, crazy week by week, uh, but we're going to see how it goes. It's going to be a bit of messing around to see what works best, basically, um, for how I play and for what I have in mind for this. Um, what else can I tell you? Um, I do need ideas for a name, so um, if you guys want to leave a comment with some sort of name idea, or some sort of town name, I'd appreciate it, because all my names in my towns are um, based on my own personal name, basically, so it's always like, Jenna Dice Falls, shout out to Sparkle, um, Gentopia, uh, whatever the other one was that included my name. <laughs> so yeah, I uh, do need name suggestions, that'd be pretty super, basically. <laughs> And then, um, I'm going to try to aim for two Sims videos a week, and once that's all set up, I just need to make this flat so I can put houses on it, basically. Um, so yeah, two videos a week for Sims 2. Um, to start with, we are going to focus on um, building. Uh, I think that's going to be the first couple of videos is just going to get some houses down. Um, it's really like a straight line. I didn't really want a super crazy straight line. There we go. Add a bit more character to it. Is it still a straight line? No, it's a bit more rugged now. Alright, that's good. Alright, we'll do that. stuff up there. Interesting looking. Alright. Oh right, that's supposed to be a beach. Fudge. Um, so, I lost my train of thought now. I need to just get in there. Can I not? Oh. Um, yeah, so I need name ideas. Uh, what else? Uh, two videos a week. Uh, I am going to start doing Sims 4 videos as well. Um, I'm aiming for, I don't know, soften, soften, I want a beach here. Um, I'm probably only going to do one Sims 4 video a week. 
Um, and it's only going to be a legacy. I'm not going to do a build a city challenge or anything like that. So we'll just create a family and follow them and see what happens in their life. Um, I may use like some sort of random controller thing. I know they exist um, to like have certain things happen. I really like this. This is good. Right, if I can just get rid of that. Maybe soft. No, nope, I like that. I like that. You're a bit pointy in the back there. You can get rid of super pointy thing. Uh, I don't even know where it went. Soften that up a bit. Um, so yeah, that is the game plan. Uh, we're going to be playing on this terrain, obviously, since I've painstakingly created it today. Um, so let's throw some roads down and see, see if, it, if it's what I want. Um, R for roads. So I don't want like a massive, crazy, large town. one. Oh, but you're not even. Why aren't you even? See? This is... I don't know. There we go. See, this is why we do it in this. Because then we can make sure everything is the way it needs to be. I also don't know if uh, oh. bulldoze. I don't want that there. Maybe you can go bye bye too. No? I can go bye bye. There we go. Get rid of that. And then uh, quick level one. Is it one? Yeah. Just go across, make sure this is all the same sort of level as before, and then we need to soften this a bit more, I think. It might still be too high for beach dots. Maybe. It's all very finicky, because you can't really like, go back and do it again. Um, totally lost where it. Right, I don't want like a massive town. Um, just some nice little areas. We can get some good stuff going. Don't want anything too crazy and outlandish because I'll, I'll never fill it basically. And I do want to be able to completely fill in like this hood. I really like the aspect of hood building essentially. Um, that also wasn't what I wanted. So I'm going to get rid of that. Thanks. Can I not, can I not bulldoze that? Is that another thing I can do? I don't want that there. How do you remove that? Can you remove that? I don't want that there. Okay, that's great. Now, oh, I haven't paused. No, it is paused. So where the fuck can I get D zone? There we go. Alright. Um. I don't want too much space, but I do want to be able to, you know, have a decent sized town. Also, I'm very big on symmetry. You guys will find that out. Three, three, cut those in two, like that. And we'll just put some little stuff here. Um, I'll put that there because it's going to be a massive neighborhood. Sorry about the children crying in the background. 
um, my nieces are over and this is what they do <laughs> basically they just cry um, so yeah I think this is a fairly good start for a hood maybe I'd have to put it in to see but I'd, I can't imagine I'd need more space than that and then over here We want some beach lots. We can finagle that. I don't know if that's going to be way too close to the water or not. I guess we'll find out. Ooh. Alright. Put like a little boardwalk in. I'm kind of ruining my entire neighborhood, but that's fine. Actually, you know what? I don't like that. Bulldoze that shit. So roads. Beach lots. And yeah, that can just be it's so not flat over there. Um, I'm really scared to do this actually because. I wonder. Nope. Just hit a button. You can't hit buttons in this game, guys. If you hit buttons, bad things happen. Um, there we go. I'm just gonna make it all level, basically. Because I didn't use the softening tool on it. But I didn't use the leveling tool. So I've got to make it level. Otherwise, beach lots won't work, like, at all. There we go. Nope. Not what I wanted. This is what I wanted. I want it all to the level. So, nice. Level. Yeah. Okay. Now we can go back to this. Boot. There we go. That should do it. That should give us some decent beach lots. And I wonder... We just kind of go up there. And we can get some more beach lots down here. And then if we do something like. Can I put it there? Alright. But if we do that. And then maybe. That. We could put like. Some businesses or something in there. There we go. Alright. This is working. I don't know how fond I am of this, actually. I just really want a few beach lots, so that should work. Um, probably don't need something that big. I do I. Um, that'll work. I'll just cover it up. Okay, and then from here we'll go up, and then we'll click this way, and will just be the main town and this one's not going to be as impressive as the other one because it's more uh, just more So we're going to have a couple of different areas to build different size houses and stuff, so um, none of it's like set in stone as to what's going where, but I think my goal is, yeah that works, whatever. Um, we're gonna have like a train here, and I'll go, actually I'll get rid of this just in case the train goes there. Um, we'll pop it up here, that's fine. Uh, so, this is just gonna be the town, it's gonna kind of be the business area. At least that's how I'm imagining it. So there we go. We, so, yeah, we're just gonna go.
Alright, well that's the city guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, the next Sims 2 video should be out in a day or so. And in that one, we're going to put the hood in the neighborhood, uh, maybe throw some trees down, uh, and start plotting where we want houses and stuff to go. So thank you again for watching, and have a great day!